Once more, we step into the night. And to a pile of shit. My name's Yobrig. Otherwise known as Sunday Topper, if you're referring to my uh, channel name. And we are trying to find our ways out of the current sewer system above ground, where we can find points. Whiskers, I'm gonna take it easy on you. You've been real nice to me in that last video. Nicer than you had any right to be. You know, the last time I attacked one of you guys, you drained so fast I didn't have a chance to let you go. That's one of the things that I hate about feeding in this game. It, it won't show you the blood level of who you're about to feed on, and honestly, as a vampire, someone that can see that kind of shit, I think I deserve to know. Because I'm killing people I don't mean to. Let's see what Joseph has to say about the arm rendezvous with King's Manor. Evening. The flesh crafter who walked with royalty is crafty. No, is not so crafty now. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. Cool. I wonder something else. Certainly. What can my idle hands make playthings of in your city? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm, I can see that's got your attention. Gargoyle? Wasn't that in a book I read? Tell me of this stone one. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking kindred in my city. How does one smash stone? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In Point. truth, I'd rather have it as an ally. But I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. I'll move this rock, but I wonder something else. Certainly. What is your true Hollywood story, Isaac Abrams? In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American films' top 100 movies, you must Damn. have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. I will be projected 30 feet tall. Unless you're the most spectacular actor I'd never heard of, your look would be a tough sell. But don't take it too hard. Once you're dead, there's no such thing as good publicity. That is basically what Ash said. That Isaac said. What stars have revolved around you? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden, Dean, Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. There are so few comedies set on the moon. It would be hilarious. I make exemplary, not excremental films. <laughs> I wonder Certainly. something else. Sing a song of sewer rats. The Nosferatu? I pity them, but I loathe their presence. I deal with them when it's necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. They respect my streets, and I keep my politics out of their sewers. But I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. I mean, as far as the undead dealings go, that's pretty fair. Certainly. What is the texture of velvet? You've met VV, have you? Of all the kindred I know, she seems the most alive. Tori. She's still young, though, but nonetheless adept. She's not my child, but she's become like a daughter to me. Something tells me she calls a lot of men daddy. 
I wander something else. Certainly. What fires produced ash? Ash. Where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion of his performance, I knew he had it. Yes, yes. I hadn't seen anything like him since Cliff or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, the lure, that undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. Changed. Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. The parties, the drinking, the sports cars, the women. One night when I came to discuss his next role, I found him nearly dead of an overdose. And I couldn't... I couldn't let him go. He was disfigured by your kiss. I acted on impulse. I had seen so many others die before that time, but with Ash, I had a chance to prevent that fate. And did you? <laughs> it devastated Ash. He still wanted to act, but I denied him his place in the limelight. He had to lie to his friends about his new lifestyle. He had to feed. I gave him a club, a scrap of his former glory. I did everything I could to facilitate the change. Your kiss left a bitter taste in his veins. This is something I feel like I already know and probably deserve a better dialogue option for. He feels obligated to me. I don't think he hates me. Resents me, maybe. I am his sire and he is my child, and there is a responsibility and respect inherent in that bond, even if we are no longer the friends we were. I think if he was still in his club, I might get some extra dialogue options for doing a quest or something, but whatever. I wonder something else. Certainly. I know. I can know th these things later. But we got a quest. For the Asian vampire just across the street. Do that. And the immortal words of Sabretooth scream for me. Azagul wants you to take care of a gargoyle that's taken up residence in the old Asian theater. He picked up a book about gargoyles at the Tremere Chantry downtown. Perhaps you should pay Maximilian Strauss, the Tremere reagent, to visit. I sure as hell did. Where was that book? Here it is. Gargoyles. During the medieval conflict with the Zemitsi clan, Clan Tremere delved further into secret blood magics and created a race of protectors known as gargoyles. Since their inception, gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors, and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters, vampires by virtue of the blood, and flesh through which they were created. They are no more than the... I'm not really sure how to pronounce that word. Dichitress of other clans. I think that's supposed to be like waste product, lower life, or waste of other clans, given a second chance to serve their Tremere creators. Unfortunately, many have wrongly come to view their service as slavery and have fled their masters in search of some delusional utopia. Most escaped gargoyles live in isolation, preferring solitude to even the company of their own kind. And these things, I think I've been shooting and hacking for the past half hour or so. The two, the two legged slash handed things that continually rip my face off. Fun. Fear me, I have a six shooter. You pull out a tiny gun like that in the current streets of LA, going you're gonna get rocked. You are the seed that takes this lemon to its destiny. Hurry! To downtown! Da -da 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 -da. Five imaginary Monopoly dollars for anyone that knows that tune.
Maximilian, I found a pebble. It has your name on it. Come on, Wizard King, where you at? Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Yes. Of course. I seek knowledge of gargoyles, the stone-skinned blood golems. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? One haunts a theater in Hollywood. Tell me more. What can I tell you about them? Uh, let's not go straight to the persuasion. Tell me of these blood golems. A gargoyle, put simply, is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. They are very powerful and not to be trifled with. Created by the blood sorcerers. Do these demons still serve their magical masters? Well, many gargoyles still serve their Tremere masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. They are a sentient race, but ultimately unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. Sounds like you have some personal experience in this matter, Max. Yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. The I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. You fathered this fiend? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately... He became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I wonder if gargoyles can set foot in sunlight. I see. Well, Isaac Abrams has asked me to get rid of the gargoyle. Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of Lacroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I have options to weigh, Wizard King. You do that, Neonate. If I hear that you have divulged my secret to anyone, anyone, you will never be welcome in this chantry again. Do you understand? You find yourself precariously perched, was it, King? It's a dangerous game you're playing, Neonate. I trust you will make the right decision. Farewell. How do I destroy the demon? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. Tell me more of these blood golems. What can I tell you about them? Uh, that's history. We already got that. How to destroy already. One more. Of course. Mind your green what is it you would like I to get know? the feeling there's nothing here. Yeah. No knowledge is necessary. Now. Goodbye. Now, do I really plan on telling everyone uh, where this gargoyle came from? Not really. I kind of like the Wizard King. That said, I was really hoping to bilk a little extra out of money, trinkets... Fuck, extra experience points? Something. Something other than him being very agitated with me. Deep Having a wizard, a blood wizard, very pissed with you dreaming. is not the best situation. That said, if we make, quote, the right choice, I'm sure he won't care. Banking six points. What, are we else? what else are we working with here? 
Well. Hey. We have a point of dex with our armor on? What if we take it off? Oh, dip. I got lockpicking five. Sweet. That'll come in handy later. Where to? Let's get out of here, daddy vampire. Back to Hollywood, I guess. I don't need any... Uh, I don't need any... What do you call it? Blood? I don't need any blood. And Santa Monica, I think, is the only place you can buy it. That is very annoying. Hola. Special me. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me something? Hmm. Area code three two three K L I. Blunt force, huh? Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue. Heavy hammer, ostensibly, ostensibly used for construction. Great for getting that song out of someone's head. As well as anything else that's inside. Or chirping crickets are keeping you up, or you have nightmares about them. Help me out here. No, no, no. Don't you know? I don't want to spend the money. You can crawl into your mouth or your ears or or your nose. You you can't prevent it if you're asleep. I mean. Now I look crazy. Er. Let's do a few practice swings over here. We know I can see. How does this work? Oh, nice. Not bad. I might hold on to that. Like, even when I'm done using it. But how effective are my regular bare hands versus the sledgehammer? Feet adjustment 3, damage per chinsel 22. I mean, honestly, I might just go with my bare fucking hands. I probably should have checked before I, uh. Yeah. And I have points in Brawl, anyways. More than halfway up. Certainly better my melee stat. Come on, melee. You get one more point, I get another one for free. Like a Kmart blue light special. Anyways. We have an Asian vampire to... Er, sorry, Asian theater to trash. Because in a fight between me and that son of a bitch, things are gonna get rowdy. And this place is made of wood. And who knows? He is a sentient being. Maybe I'll be able to talk it down. But we'll find that out next time. Fair. Well, vampire.